representatives, be it from CIS, we're claiming them. <laughs> All right, we They're need ours. it. They're, They're ours. ours. Get out. And Envy coming in after breaking down Sentinels. I think a lot of people are all aboard. And a note to remember here, great moments are born from great opportunity. And this is the perfect chance for these two sides. You see here how we're going to get things kicked off. As the Gambit started off on the attacker side, the slow approach, the default. Mm. Nothing actually too surprising from what we've seen previously here. Again, Nat's going to be in that position where he's going to try and work himself up short on A, but not all posted outside. Actually, it's a four-man lean for Envy. Over towards B. It's only going to be FNS here to hold down the fort. Well, obviously, yes, is what the utility to depend upon, but there's a time limit on when you feel comfortable with this. So once that starts to tick over, I'll be curious to see what the look is on the other side. And if they're going to get proactive with this or if it's simply a read. But while this has happened, shower control has been gained. Depot's taken that space. They've already kind of started to clear through that, but they're falling back away. So a very cautious start. You can see, not necessarily hesitation, but everything has to be accounted for here. Nothing given up on either side, actually. Envy just sitting tight. <laughs> it's giving me butterflies watching these two because it's on a nice edge here. Yeah, it's giving me butterflies. Gambit are floating towards B right now <laughs> as well. So yeah, actually going to leave Chronicle in position, maybe to, again, just try and bait something out with his owl drone, but Envy still in position left. here, crashes. Oh, he just gives up the, the angle. Timing. The timing on this could be insane. Okay, Marv's got contact, the flash comes in, they want to first off this, but Marv's doing good for one. He still stands! That's two quick kills, but then Crashy comes over to try and help out, but Marv needs no help. He holds that down all by himself and even peeks down he in it. He's feeling this game from round one. A four-piece on the pistol round. Again, Gambit desperately trying to run the clock down. Uh, I guess anticipating Envy. We're going to get a little antsy, maybe go looking for answers, but nothing given away at all. And it's as crashy backed up. This first one completely blind, by the way, of the depot. So well done here. Again, the spacing just slightly off, and Chronicle has already noted it uh, with that drone on short. Just trying to bait a little presence. He's Keep already Envy up. Guessing. <laughs> that's a way to start it off. <laughs> that is a hell of a way, and that just shakes off any of that maybe anticipation of, oh, hopefully we do all right, hopefully we have a good performance. That's got you buzzing straight off the start now. Fly coming out, four Spectres, one Bulldog, nothing too wild on the other side. It's relatively clean to a couple of upgrades, but not much armor, no armor to supplement, so it is going to be potentially clean. I get a little nervous with that. Yeah, Red Guard just slips away his yay. Guy's wondering, that's a spike, so would have been a big kill. Yeah, he's still wandering, though. The timing could be excellent on this. Yay, could completely dismantle this round. Yes, they got presence in Jara, maybe able to do a bit more damage, but this is going to be it. That spike now lost. That is going to be confirmation. Down, They're going to be very happy with that. You could see Gambit wanted to try and work together on that timing. It just wasn't going to happen. It's now in a position to have to try and recover this spike again. Sheriff's to work with. And Shadow's got that upgrade, but yeah, you're going to swing on this. Ooh, one oh, 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 they're feeling it. Another four piece on the round. <laughs> Farm a few, get him up early, but some progress here towards the blade storm, at least on the side of Yate. And he will join Marv actually at the top of the leaderboard on that side. I'm scared to see Yay and Marv having a good but start. This is the thing, right? And again, watching how Envy have played, I think the the biggest kind of sway factor here for Gambit is, is being able to slow things down. But if Envy can yes. demonstrate actually that they're able to play at that pace, because all we've it's been fast and furious from it Envy throughout. So Again, first two rounds, very interesting to see uh, Yay walking somewhere, for starters. Um, it's not something we often see, but this is the round here again. Whether or not they're going to try anything to make the most of these weapons. Of course, Gambit will kind of force the issue now and, and press back towards Envy. Again, similar default, Spike not committed. It's outside market right now, and Nat's in position to control any push, but nothing coming just yet. Envy, they're happy to sit back. Yeah, and I want to get your thoughts on the map veto and everything else. Once this round is concluded, we can kind of talk bigger picture here because best of fives do change things. It is that marathon now. It turns away from the sprint. We've got a couple more maps to play with, a little bit more room. The veto, the order, it's all paramount. And that's something I want to get your thoughts on as well as the desk who definitely laid out some of their, uh, I guess, worries and concerns for, for either side as well. But for now, we look at Redgar beginning the process of maybe trying to clear towards shower, but there are... Two players on the other side, and Victor's going to take this opportunity to try and slip up close. A pop flash potentially could provide great opportunity, but no, he actually falls away from that. 
will play safe, but confirmation had at least off the back of the flash, and it sets up someone like Ye. And once again, if Ye's gonna do this, if he's got, he's gonna be a constant thorn in the side, Gambit are gonna have problems with this. There's no fear being shown. A good flash, though. FNS had no chance in that moment, caught almost on transition. As now a 4v4 starts to build, Victor's on the back, uh, tucked in towards that cubby side, but Spike's being planted, and they haven't quite cleared this yet. Has he got a chance for the timing? Yes, he does. It is traded, but now keep in mind that quick flank coming in. There's actually two members now. Yeah, Marvel will be called upon. They line up for him. Nats and Shade off will fall. It's Conical left. Two shock darts. 15 seconds left on that recon, but looks like Envy might just try and smoke and go for it here. Marv, not even considering the possibility. And yeah, he actually low HP. He's got the shock dart here, Lauren. Oh, this could be it. Gonna have to respect it. Six HP is still alive. I don't know how he's still standing. And Chronicle is playing that time limit as best he can. Yay, what are you going to do with this one? Chronicle ain't going to mess this up, surely not. Keep those nerves of steel in place. The spam's going to do it. Yay gets caught, but let's talk about context to this. That was a bonus for Envy. Yeah. That was not a full purchase. Marv finding those frags then was the gateway right back in. Ye's pressure coming through as well. This man's on a mission. Well, yeah, he's able to thread his way right into the back lines once again. Find actually the location of the spike within this default, which again is something that we want to see Gambit address this now. It's not committed in the early round, but yeah, we know Gambit like to go for those 30 yeah. seconds hit. They like to run the clock down. This is a major concern if Ye's consistently going to be able to find that space. And find the spike as well. It's <laughs> the second layer to that concern. I'm on the Red Bull Clutch to start this off with. There's so many individuals now having very, very big starts. Quick flash. Didn't get much for it, but yay. Let's get the blades out. So he's going to be happy with that. After the belting start he's had, it's not too much of a surprise to see it coming in in this round. Now on the other side, the purchase. Yes, they converted the round, but it obviously was at a great deal of a cost. We have now a Spectre, a Guardian, some kind of fallbacks as wait how's heaven has found that was that just straight through the wall maybe just spamming away maybe just reading a little of the positions but seekers <laughs> popped out as well so this could maybe spur on that piece towards b or maybe just take that deeper territory so they could then lean towards and execute if they fancy it but yay's still here and they have no idea that he's lingering around at this point someone else dealing with the seekers but shade offs with a belter that's again another step towards potentially leaning towards a site now they've actually got it down to a 4v4 so we'll be able to Push on through with the snake fight as well. So we'll get site control. Nothing actually an elbow to deal with. And it looks like actually three members of Gambit are going to pick up. Four yep. in CT for Envy. Not pushing this. They're actually on, on the site already here. FNS is so early. He went ahead of the divide and he just gets the perfect timing on it as well. Finding Chronicle as he tried to fade away back towards Octagon. Shadoff now Shadoff, he does have a flash on this one. There it goes straight through. Gets the pop. Where's the quick push? There it is. Marked and crashes. They are making this look way too simple right now. I'm getting a bit nervous here. Now, let's then take this into the conversation of what happens in the map pool if Envy come out and they're firing up like this. They're looking individually really solid. FNS on this timing was great. Chronicle had no idea. What's the knock-on effect here? Because best of fives, they're a little different. I, I mean, Baller made a really, really good point for me. This, th If you're leaning towards Gambit in this series, it needs to start strong with Bind. I, I mean, Gambit's performance is synonymous with being feast or famine, right? It, it's one way or the other. We've seen both sides of that coin at this event, but it's the it's the bigger positive, right, to see them starting on attack and have some comfort, right? Find that kind of groove. And right now, Envy aren't allowing that to happen. And it's not by countering with aggression. It's actually being willing to sit back uh, and wait for Gambit to make their move. But I think you throw in that dash of, well, is Ye now going to be pushing behind us once again? You never know what you're going to get. Now, at this point, Victor did catch Depo, trying to maybe close that gap a little early. Seekers do come through, so confirmation of where this intended hit's coming into. Nats on the Overwhelm, a name that we haven't been saying too much yet, but always a critical piece to the Gambit puzzle. A 3v2, HP won the mob, so that could have been an issue, but no, the pre-fire on that corner, more than enough to secure it. As Chronicle does have the rifle, but down to 45 HP. It's a little low, and you can see it already now noted by Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting anything, man. Yay is on it today. <laughs> he looked so sharp individually last few series. Again, Gambit made with that one switch of pace and to try and get a feel for maybe what the setup is for Envy on A site. But again, we've already seen Envy adjust to a number of different kind of scenarios here. and. Again, just thinking back to if, if they're willing to give up B and play retake the way they did. Again, it's on the back of Marv's early progression towards the Cosmic Divide. So sure. something that you, you can't necessarily rely on. But with factors like that, if they can lean away and, and potentially leave something for Gambit to walk into. Oh, is this looking a little aggressive? Marv's put himself up towards the corner on this one. So again, we've seen that aggression down towards that B side. But it is going to be Nats now. 
I, I thought it was isolated, but comes down towards Victor like a guillotine. Just head now removed. But Marv's been pushed up here a little deeper. It looks like Nats is on red alert. He's like, that seemed really weird. Where's the second? There's the second. He finds it. Huge impact from Nats in this round. Just tame that early aggression that Envy was starting to explore. We'll pull Ye across from B site as well. Again, look at Gambit though. They're still sat in the same Holding. default from 35 oh, yeah. seconds ago. Spike not committed. It's a mirror image of every other round so far. Ga this is how Gambit wants to play this map. They want to bait Envy into pushing. They, they want to build that paranoia, that suspense throughout the round and oh. hope for a slip up. There There's it is. One. <laughs> the patience they show, yes, we constantly say Na'Vi <laughs> style, but I'm going to say maybe Gambit style here. I mean, Nat's just and got rewarded. <laughs> exactly. Nat's just got rewarded perfectly for that patience, sitting back and waiting for that push up. So at this point, why wouldn't you commit a little longer? Now, it is maybe going to be that next layer of do they still clear for FNS as diligently as they should. And we know they don't. The bees obviously open and ready for the taking. Left. Gambit will still take their time. They will still run that utility. And they're just fine. I'd be a little bit more nervous if there was even a player nearby, but they're just fine on this hit. Well, this is the comfort zone, right? It hits 30 seconds. We've still got five alive. Cool. Let's let's go to a site, right? More often than not, especially with what's gone on in this early round, at least with two members of Envy committed to that planted. short push. Fairly confident. Let's move here again. Chronicle actually... Still going to sit as the contingency here with the Hunter's Fury all the way outside. Nat's actually going to pick up outside TP, but FNS and Ye don't have any intentions of going for this. Whether or not Gambit will even give anything away to them. So again, three rounds. This will be two to separate them. Want to build up at least another purchase within this economy. Yeah. Gambit probably needed that. Yeah. You're talking mental what? game. I, we haven't seen them look shaken. I will say that. They're a team that seems to be able to always provide. They have... The structure that seems to allow, even if moments go slightly astray, that they can depend on it still, they're still in a good spot. They're not the emotional springboard team that needs X and Y to pop off, otherwise they're in the bin. I, I, st I still think they're okay, they have the protocols in place, but I would say we haven't seen them trailing too much this event. A couple of times, sure, but mostly in the deeper run of the tournament, they've been pretty sharp, they've been pretty on. And if Nats is starting to come alive, if he's going to start feeling that confidence here, what a what a big boom that would be for them. Well, again, where we expect Gambit to kind of pick up the, the most in terms of information, in terms of a real grasp, is these early rounds, right? Where yep. they're happy to sit so deep and just say, right, uh, are Envy going to have kind of three go-tos? What's the setup? Who's where? What utility is in place to stop us? And then actually that's where we might see Gambit lean slightly more to one, one side. Nats maybe getting a little more aggressive to push towards uh, Lamps, obviously sure. all the way up short. We, space we know that default push that he has with that wall and then the poison orb in. Uh, I know Sean's one of Sean's favorite plays to see, but um, problem is here, again, I'm already seeing MB kind of demonstrate they can play both sides of it. Now, we get very worried when we talk about Gambit resorting to fast desperation hits, yes. especially when they're trailing on the attack yes. and they can't actually get a grip on what's going on. That's when Gambit look the, dare I say, weakest. Or well, the yeah. slowest, I, I, I yeah. say, in, in, in terms of building Gambit, have actually won out in terms of round count on the attack on Bind. Go back in. So a timeout maybe just to collect their thoughts. After that conversion, maybe trying to relay, okay, what have we actually garnered from these first six rounds? What can we now action off the back of this? We've been holding this default quite well. Yes, it's worked out okay if, you know, maybe Nats catches too, but that's the first time we really saw Envy explore that A-side as well, kind of push up a little deeper, not just through shower. So at this point, maybe just trying to address across the board, maybe a little bit of a switch up. So I want to see what they come back in with on this, what the approach may be is, yeah, he's got the op out. Defo on the other side with his, so both well equipped for this. And already, you're going to hear that all coming through. Envy, that's going to be FNS blocking off the long. Yay, throwing down a shot, and he needs to keep himself moving. He's going to be doing the dance, but it has given that gateway forward. Nats is now super up close, but Yay bounded right round towards this. So again, He's there with Marv. They're not sitting back on this Marv. So clean on that check. They have read Nats. You highlighted. We know that push. So does Envy. Well, that's a prime example of doing your homework. Again, that Hunter's Fury sent through. Caused a bit of chaos. Oh, Defo. Oh. Oh, Defo yeah, nearly he caught like it that. there. He's like, he oh, didn't like okay. that one. And, and I do want to talk about that yay Defo battle because I've been seeing two looks for Defo. And very different here. He's you know, found that space, found that room. I think Ye's a whole different beast altogether, though. That man is is truly living up to the El Diablo, right? The, the consistency factor is what separates those two players. I and agree. again, we've seen Defo drag his heels slightly online. Yep. Uh, th th I think that's fair to say. Yep. Uh, but here, for me, Defo's been night and day to Absolutely. what we've seen previously. And actually, a pivotal part of Gambit's success. A hundred percent. I do want to keep our eye on that kind of concept of those two potentially. Ooh, the switch up. 
All right. Looks like they're going to be entering with the rifle. Yay, going to be on that little bit of a deeper off angle too, playing over by Tri Box. But there's the dash in towards the side. We are down to about 12 seconds. So anything that denies the spike plant is going to be denying left. the round, essentially. At this point, Ye's well aware of the pressure coming on in. Red guard's gone down. Spike Crashies down. was so prepared for this. Spraying in wildly, denying the spike plant once again. Time, it's gone. They've run out of it. It doesn't matter, boys. You've made a bit of a fumble on this one. Yeah, I think fumble's one the key word. Actually, if they still get one on the way out as well, Defo will slip out of line of sight. But again, that's the one. Unless there's five alive, they get it. Actually, Shados desperately trying to still bait some presence over in Hooker the whole time this is happening. Again, I love this here. They, they've read this perfectly. That's actually brilliant. We talk about that just before that round as well, but this is uh, another kind of side of the gambit we talked about, especially on the attack. It, it's when you've not really found anything, you can't just default hit a site, right? And especially here, there's no Sage. The Cosmic Divide was actually available, but that default plant on A is so difficult with nothing. And, and let's then talk about Envy on the other side showing such patience. Yep. They knew yep. that clock was low. They were not taking super risky fights. They were holding deep on the back of sight. Allowed that clock to be the worst enemy for Gambit on this one as Defo. It's going to be noted but not really affected. And can continue to go up. Now we do have a slightly forward position coming out from Ye as well. I want to see if he does decide to go walk about if he feels the timing. Who knows? But the spike is still deep down towards the backside of mid. So this is just taking that territory. This time it's B long. We haven't seen them explore it in a minute or two. So this could be a different look here. Slow, methodical. And don't expect Envy to give away a peek in this scenario, Victor. Just to this, uh, again, he just needs to hold this angle. Make sure nobody can slip out under deck because Ye actually got himself posted up right next to him. You see Gambit are actually leaning this way as well. And this is still a We're double stack. Time, man. It's 30 seconds again. And this is double stack in towards Hooker. That's what worries me here. They blessed this so late. 30 seconds 30 to clear seconds this and hope left. nothing goes wrong. Bear in mind, there's still a flash that I know that's on Victor at the moment. Shados does do really well, though. They still know there is going to be this guy here. Now the Seeker's come out. He's in so much trouble, but hold down Mouse One still denies a bit of time. But the rotations, they're a little... What? FNS just Spike absolutely down. barrels into this. Spike's en route towards the side, though. And can anything stop it? This fight, and already there's problems. Eight seconds! Shados loses the spike and loses his life. Crashies does well. Four seconds on the plot. Oh, the FNS! The positioning was primed. And now Chronicle... You're gonna watch again as another round slips through your fingertips. Envy don't care at that point. Take the frags. We got the round. Look at this. Envy are absolutely running them out of this server right now. They, they absolutely are. And the problem is, right here, yes, they still find the kills on the way in, but the contingency is in place. Envy have run down the clock. They put up one hurdle. And it, 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 all it is is that double stack. It gets ripped apart by Gambit. But that doesn't matter. It's it's the five seconds bought there where the TP push can come through. Again, the Hunter's Fury is a factor from crashes and. Again, the fact he's even found the kill, not just denied the plant, I I is huge. Envy, uh, again, Get this is this is way. a perfect example of adjusting to your opponent. And it's, it's subtle, though, isn't it? It's not... Nothing special. It's nothing no. flashy. It, no, it's there's no flashiness to it, but it's just very well considered. And again, the calling, the preparation, all seems to be paying off so, so well. And how often do we talk about Envy looking flashy this entire event, right? It's, sure. it's all been theatrics. Absolutely, and it's been gorgeous to watch. We've all been fans, of course. It's hard not Stop to done. enjoy these boys. We even got dabbles of that in the first couple of rounds, but now they're getting that complimentary kind of good mental approach, good tactical approach to it. And Gambit need to find something out of this. Now Shados with the op and a couple of pistols in the surround, and that's all they've got. And just to note, this is the most rounds anyone's got versus Gambit on this map in recent performances. I think that the next was five from Supermassive Plays. So Envy already exceeding expectations. And Gambit have got it all to do to fight back. Defo might find. This did give him one, but no damage done. But again, it's a double stack here. Marv sitting to the right side of this wall. And actually, Defo's going to swing through. Oh, Shados. Wait, what? As if he's the one to get it, but they don't account for Marv. Do you have to? Shados, apparently that op looks good in your hands. But Victor then fills that gap. And they're left. always in the right place. The rotations are en route as well. Victor's actually going to aggress on it. That's madness. <laughs> Redgar will punish that sort of behavior. As now we're down to crashes and yay. One rifle has come on through to a great guard and it's well placed once again. The double spike was down. Crashies just said three times. Oh no, crashies, he's feeling this. He's read this so well. That's one. Can he get it? No, Lats! He's found the kill. How's he done that? Down to the wire again. 
again, there's 10 seconds. They find the one kill that matters, which is the spike, right? And, and the, the big thing here to consider, again, a little bit more of a, a forward hold, right, on the side of Envy, and it's an anti-eco round, so daring, uh, again, call that what you want. Must be nice. Shados finds a, a, a freebie on, on the way in there. Finds a second, fair enough, but at, at this point here, you're thinking, all of this has happened so deep, and it's taken so long for them to come through showers, actually. The rotation comes through. There, there, there's more bodies to deal with. So even if they trade one for one, two for two on the way in, Envy is still in a position to prevent let that. Me, let me tell you a story about Ye yeah. right now. What? This guy is something else. Marshall, Op, whatever it may be, he's still finding impact. Plays up towards that B long. And now look at him instantly on the swing as well. Going to switch things out. Going to maybe fill that gap that with like that maybe FNS coming on over. Defo had an operator, by the way. I was looking at this, I was like, ah, oh, there's not got much in here, but last second, uh, but Ye buys a Marshall. And I love the fact that Ye's here. Now look, already a clear towards Shower as well. I don't know how much Marv just saw. He lent through a fair amount. I think he's cleared this. And now they're going to have the outro. This is exactly what they want. They're in good places to make damage out of this, but the rifles are still superior. Ye's on the other side now. Speed sees just the gun barrel. Two now, Cross, he can call it. There's going to be... Dart towards the back of the site, sees another cross, that's a tag. Natslo does find Victor, so again, those rifles coming through, but Marv! Chronicle! <gasps> Chronicle, you absolute savior of this side. The damage was signed for on through, FNS can't do much on this one. He used that rotate over towards that B site, and Gambit, somewhat being saved in a very dangerous manner, but I've got to say, Chronicle, being able to find and always keep awareness towards Shower then, was key, because you imagine if he just slid out there, yeah, denied the spike good. plant, you still had Ye on the site, they can pull and push between each other. And the thing is, every time the gambit leans towards that, <laughs> okay. Let's go, Chronicle. <laughs> every time gambit leads towards A, it, that, that has to be a consideration. It's it, And yes, they could potentially plant with, you know, still players on Envy on backside, especially if they found a kill on the way in, but that always has to be a consideration. Triple and showers. Especially there, there was nobody from gambit that actually came through showers this time. And usually, It'll be Redgar, potentially Shados in there to, to flash through, but again, now, Ember actually will lean heavier towards eight. There's only two members of Envy this time. Marvin FNS, and actually a little bit of a set piece, potentially, coming out from Gambit. Yeah, no clear, close. Alt gets popped. And again, not much being found for this. Spike going in, they don't really have much of a say in the matter of love. How have you got that on Shados? The wild spray towards Nats will not find its intended target, and Nats is still dominating into Azuka. He's got his ult now just ticking away. Yay on the other side. Spike is down. So again, time is so yeah, favorable, and Nats has just denied this entire slice. But look at that flank coming look around. Redgar. Redgar is in such a dirty spot. Nats is walking this? Is he? <laughs> this is still the contingency plan. Chronicle has fallen, but Nat still stands, and yeah, FNS may consider it, but he still has to deal with it. And now the mad flank from Redgar. What, what the hell did Jay just do? Come hell or high water, he's still a problem, and Crashies is on the defuse. Envy, make it up to seven. I'm not entirely sure, sure at the moment at which that flips back Last in Envy's favor, because all you got to think is they, they, they just don't have to challenge, right? At this point here, they have to buy time for Redgar to come through, and uh, again, you can see that. I don't know how Ye is finding these kills. Again, Redgar. How did he find all of that on site? Was that three on site? Yes. That's absolute madness to me. He walked into the Viper's pit just coming through from pipes, and I'm not sure what the setup was on the other side. I know we were sat watching Nats, but he looked in a position to stop that from happening altogether. No, I'm, I'm with you. Let me go again. This pace looks different, though. Gambit not holding that traditional default, a heftier lean towards that B site. Yeah, he is here. No op this time, but he does have the ult. They're playing from site itself, and one towards kind of elbow, just waiting to see if it's in there. TP comes in early. It's a double take as well. Defo's going to find Victor, but will he predict FNS? They've got to know he's lingering around, but Redgar finding Ye on the site is huge. Now, yes, there'll be an answer, but it's Marv with two, but it's all favorable trades towards Gambit. Again, the last round, we <laughs> flipped the other way again. A very, very fast Switching round. Sides. It'll be 7-5 on the half. Like I said, Envy already outperforming recently versus other teams that Gambit have faced. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah, let's head down to the desk to see if they think this is enough. Has Envy posted enough rounds? Gambit have not been at this sort of deficit in a while. Guys, your thoughts? Or are Envy just reading this so perfectly? This has been something on our mind here, and I feel like, at least in that initial half, we did have Envy having the correct answers to the Gambit puzzle. However, half switch, whole new dynamic. Yeah. I think we start off with the pistol round. Now, the key thing for me is, are Envy able to achieve the same thing they did on defense, which is dictating the pace? 
Gambit, again, we know they're going to sit deep. Defo actually will be given FNS on a platter behind the Aldrone. Start things off. And Gay now actually looking to counterbalance that, actually. The two other members pushing up long here. Actually, if Gay finds this, it could be the entry. It could be, but Chronicles caught up trashy. So actually, there's still a lot of favors Gambit in this round. No, now they know there's players coming up. Look, Vic, what? Oh, okay. Shados, you're a lucky boy to keep your life, and Ye's in trouble. He's been taken out of it for Stan and Gambit. Great positioning, and I'm a little curious what happened with FNS there. What was the intention on that walk up? Because it, as you said, it couldn't have been easier as a start. No, it's 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 not the person you'd expect to see. Obviously, push out on the backside of the flash as well. I think already you've got to anticipate that somebody else in position to obviously swing on that flash at least, but. A little weird, maybe that was just an attempt to, you know, push and pull on both sides of the map there and sure. create a gap somewhere, but not an awful lot achieved there. And again, like I said, it, uh, not especially not on this round. Uh, well, unless yeah, he's got a marshal, which he has. Um, <laughs> always a possibility. So they're on the full by. Got it. But uh, again, I'm, I'm looking for the same thing. Can Envy be the ones in control of the pace of this half as Oracle will open up onto Yeah, Actually, that's the marshal removed. <laughs> Defo will be forced back from this. So, shower control has been gained. Uh, the flash disregarded by Defo takes the fight towards FNS, and Chronicle is making sure he is always the anchor point here and using that rifle just perfectly. A flawless prime gaming round for Gambit, and the score has been closed now. So, that's the instant response 7 7, game back on. Well, next question being what can Envy achieve on their first buy round? Do we see Gambit? Get a little proactive to try and pull this one through the gate as well. Can actually <laughs> see an MV uh, again set up in that default in the in the pistol at least. Now whether or not they learn anything from that, they would look at it. It's they've noted Shados, they've noted Defo. Again, I don't think there's going to be any particular adjustments on the side of Gambit. Actually, you can say that Shados will actually be here early round. The flash will confirm presence down by Fountain. So again, expect Defo and Chronicle to just play this pretty slow on A site. And nobody there from Envy actually to even contest showers. You can see how deep they're playing as well. Envy relying on something towards B long, but three members of Gambit that side. Yeah, I want to see what... Because FNS is on the other side to Defo. I don't think Defo's going to push too much deeper on this, but it depends on the amount of contact and pressure they get towards that B site. <laughs> it's a weird angle. It's a weird <laughs> angle. It, it's a weird angle. Again, very similar look here from Envy taking the time across the map. This default is holding. They are swinging slightly back towards A, but the spike not particularly making too many moves until now. This is interesting. On the back of the recon, down short, and the here flash on long, they get confirmation on both sides, Lauren. Yeah, Chronicle and Defo will be the two here, but Yeh's found success. Now that's going to maybe cause a couple of issues for Envy if they wanted to lean the other side. Chronicle pushes in, Perfectly isolates timed. Victor. The timing could not have been better to make it back to a 4v4, and Defo just slips himself towards left. the side, tries to be amongst them, and he is! FNS completely unawares as Chronicle now comes back. Envy are pinched in this one. Oh, what? Oh, Defo! Down You're insane right now. Yay and Crash is going to have to do some big work, and look, it is those no two. No way. But Nats, the timing on this is unbearable. They're like, oh, you're going to try and play late in a round, are you? Are going to go for a late left. plant, remember? How we kept being remaining. denied these spike plants? Yeah, Five enjoy it. Five a. seconds left, and Crashies has to clutch out a 1v2, and he knows that chance has gone from him now. Having to accept the fate as Gambit will make it to eight. And Envy, whew, you have Nats to close out. But what a flank from him and keeping so much control here. Some of those shots as well were just unthinkable nice. stuff. Again, Chronicle being in position at this point in the round to actually react on that orb uh, being picked up is, is kind of crazy, but Defo making that Spectre look like an AR, to be honest with you. And again, can we call that hesitancy on the side of Envy? Again, maybe anticipating the Gambit were going to be aggressive and, and try and fight for showers, potentially they were sat very, very deep outside. But no real push, and again, like you said, Gambit, they find their comfort zone, which is 30 seconds left, bodies alive. Yeah. Yeah, he will be first to swing long. Won't be giving it to again, no aggressive peaks on the side of Gambit, other than this very, very deep angle held by Defo and Showers. And again, Envy going to try and at least send out a probe. And that's yeah, he was spotted now. Definitely, but that 
we approach this now again? Remember, not giving away any any peaks. No possibility for an entry here. No, I guess I've taken the first step in, but there's still so much utility that Gambit can burn through. And I mean, MV, yeah, they're not being given many opportunities, so it looks like they're going to maybe high up that A side instead. Defo does take a touch of damage, but not enough to really put him under too much strain just yet. He still has Chronicle here with him. Yes, FNS has kind of bridged the gap up towards Hooker, but the timing's everything. FNS is going to be caught absolutely in no man's land here. There it is. Chronicle quickly turns as well. He knows there's more. Finding Ye, and no quick trade. He puts himself in a safe position, and Chronicle, Chronicle. is dominating right now. There's no way through to the side. That no. is. Have a look elsewhere. Gambit now closing in towards double digits with a prime gaming flawless in this one. <laughs> Chronicle and Defo just running rings around Envy as they try and creep up towards a site. Again, the counter piece is perfectly timed. So well played. And again, Envy, this is another round where they've tried to bait a little presence. They've tried to force out a rotation or, or to find some form of information. But this cycling of utility on B side, it, it, there's no sight lines. There's literally no, nothing for Envy to play distance with the marshal. None of, none of these sheriffs even become a factor. We're back on the buy. Envy fans, do not fear. There is still opportunity for them now. Ops out for Ye. A little something for Crashies too. Coming in with the ult here if he needs it. Yeah, he's already found Chronicles. So that's a huge pickup, especially on that A site. We've seen how impactful Chronicles been. But Defer is actually <laughs> going to work forward in this. Now, FNS has been here time and time again, but he's quicker on the trigger and he finds Defo. It's now a two player advantage, and everything, I guess, traditionally on that A site has now been unraveled. But Shados finds Marv in no man's land. Now, that's a little weird, but we're going to have the Seekers popped. For that attacking side, want to confirm where these problems are going to start coming from. Now they know there's two coming from this side. FNS now just puts down the utility, buys a bit of time. And then that slightly unknown element, not to the fullest extent, is Redgar working his way back in as well. And Crash is just going to play on oh bench here. Oh, okay, actually, we'll get a sightline, but Shadows finds it. I absolutely love it, just waiting for that to dissipate, and then the sightlines work out well, but Victor! Oh, the high pop flash too. Redgar's blind. <laughs> the triple P comes in. Envy answer right back. Dismantling that A-hold defensive side. Two players quickly picked up, perfectly isolated. FNS so quick then as well. well FNS doing his best naps impression. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the walk up, you could see him. You could see the cogs turning. Whether well, or not he's going to pick that poison orb up. This <laughs> is exactly that scenario. Nats being the only counter to Gambit's defense on A. Isn't that crazy? Remaining. That little set piece. Works wonders for Envy, but Defo back on the operator now. A couple of old creepers too. Again, we saw Crashies being kind of that that kind of last hope for Envy there if everything went wrong for him. Would have had the opportunity to rely on that Hunter's Fury, but again, just very slow. Envy are going to try and work a pick on the back of showers potentially. And yeah, we'll post up with the operator elsewhere. Again, Envy still actively pushing for these orbs as well. Majority of the time, the shower, but. Ooh, there's that ult. We're looking to see when that might come in. Crashies <laughs> has been insanely good. Shados caught off. That's a big starting pick as well. You can see this as well, though, with Defo posted on B along with the operator. You can see now Chronicle considering rotating here. As Envy stack up. Four players on short to deal with. Here. Just gonna wait out this toxin. Again, perfect timing as well. The, the Astro utility, you can see it in unison here. This, uh, the timing on this utility is perfect from Gambit, but they won't find anything off it, and Envy will creep Bring through. It is fine time at least for Chronicle to come over this side, and he has his ult. So that's now going to be a key piece to this to buy a little bit more time. Maybe Nats is off angle, now gets a bit more play. It does. In perfect synergy, these boys just find the timing whenever needed, but a dive towards the side from Ye. Quick response from him, but Redgar on the trade. Crash is now going to suffer, but 13 seconds, they're away. He's going to make a mad dash for it. They just want to get towards that B side, leave FNS over here for a second longer but now speaking of seconds we're down to five plant comes through and envy gonna just try and flip it on a dime the retake now has to adjust all the way over and it gives yay a way better position to hold this he misses the shot 
and Defo will at least catch him in the leg, but 43 HP is more than enough right now. What do they have to work with this post plant? Because Defo is closing right back on in. There's still one on the side. That's Marv. Quick trade out. It's down to a 2v2. Off still out, but it's Defo fighting Ipanus, but yay. Oh, no he's way. got Swan on Gambit. Gonna make it to double digits. And what a way to play that back in. I thought Envy had cracked it with that TP. And honestly, I thought Redgar, slight misuse of the utility there. You can see he tried to stun on the dropout from Hooker instead of using that gravity well to deny that plant. Again, you've got to gamble of where the plant comes through, but what a recovery right there from Gamma. Again, to hit that rotation at the time they did on the side of Envy, perfect. They had enough time, I guess, comfortably to find the plant, but not enough time to set up accordingly. I think with Gambit stacked up so quickly towards spawn, they had all the time in the world to weigh out for the recon bowl and, and all these other factors that, that become key for Gambit to fight back through. Because Envy have used everything on that XP1A. Yes, it, it's, it's the They bail out of that. They have nothing left. No. Here we go. Jeffo <laughs> going to make it hurt. Just add insult to injury as Ye's going to fall on this. Now, FNS will pick up another. Yo, got a rifle. Marv still got a rifle too. Got a frenzy and a classic. No way, no way Nats has made a tiny pocket to sit inside Hooker here. Too. Oh, the Aldro, he did. I don't think he had to do it, but the pop, ooh, the pop flash was perfect, but Crashies could not care less, but there's Nats in the little cubby, and nobody puts Nats in the corner, because look at him, three cut kills, and the rifles, everything, every small margin that Envy wanted to use, got removed. And this is the concern, right? You wait for Gambit to just get something on their attacking half, because they find this groove on defense, uh, and they dig their heels in. It's so hard to count this again. Actually, uh, uh, Torch Shadow sees that Aldo and he's going to swing on that, but actually tried to pop Flash out. And uh, I think that's the whole reason. I mean, it's Crash. No, you make a great point. I'm so sorry. Silly great, me. great, great count of that. Yeah, yeah, but it's Crash. Yeah, there it is. Ah, give me your deep analytical thoughts. Mm, it's mm, Crash. Crash. It's got a classic. <laughs> 11 to Can 8 now. Good. Gambit taking the momentum way off from Envy, and I thought maybe a timeout might be coming in for Envy soon enough here, because if they're starting to feel like they don't have an answer, they'd be up against Mad Point. It is a best of five, though. Oh and God. Redcar's got a judge. He's in Hooker. Yeah. It's really quite good in this position. Flashed up, still blind. Can't use it. Second to follow. Didn't catch him. Redcar's fine, but actually, somehow, Victor still wins the fight. So now they've got at least the stepping blocks towards the side that they want. Nats is still here, though, and he can be such a nuisance, such a problem, such a Time buyer as well. TP now taken, no but way. that spike. Keep that in mind. And Chronicle was in this form, but Crashy's predicted it. So many weird things going down, but Nats is still here, and that's what I want to keep in mind. He was still lingering around a little while longer, but Defo's on the other side. Do they even think he's here? No. no. <laughs> Crashy's none the wiser. A terrible surprise. Now they have to get past Defo on this. And they're going back. They're going back into Nats' lair, and with no follow up, surely this is called out. Yeah, it is. Defo's on the way. And Nats will just wait. Patiently, on the back side of sight. A little look towards long, nothing. 30 seconds left. And confirmation will be soon. Two players creeping up. Nats, does he see it first? Yes, but he misses. Yay, brings hope towards Envy as now the site will be there. Spike en route. It will be planted. Defo, what can you do with this? Spike planted. Not impossible, but certainly not easy. Did he catch him on the way out? No. They're both going to be sat towards that long side. Maybe a longer rotation for Marv to get towards Hooker. As Ye will be controlling this. This is perfect. <laughs> Defo touches the spike, looks towards Hooker, sees nothing yet. The timing's not there. Marv will finally make his appearance. He knows where Ye is, but now he's had to use both of his spokes. But what? That shot was so quick. I thought there was a chance for it, but Marv, safe pair of hands. That long rotation coming in. He was just fine flying from Hooker. Not an awful lot for Defo to do in that scenario. Again, finding one was the consolation there to try and get that one through, but we look here again, just from that previous round with a couple of SMGs, obviously a bit more of a buffer this time for Envy, but yeah, one more buy in the tank effectively. Gambit hit 12, with that victory now, <laughs> essentially going to reset their economy. Life is a bit available for FNS, but Defo actually goes walking here. <laughs> yeah, he's ready for it. Don't walk up on Ye, man. He's starting to come alive, and he needs that fire. They need a little bit of something to light a fire under Envy oh right now. Shados just gets pinned into the shower. And that's, yeah, timing's not good enough for that. Mars was waiting for this. And Redgar and Chronicle, and near on impossible scenario. And 
curious how the money's looking for Gambit now, because these rounds have been pretty brutal for both sides. They've both been trying to keep it clean. Envy finally have five standing here, and they may just keep it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they have to respect this situation, but it's interesting to see Gambit now maybe lean a little further forward, because it's given Envy what they want, right? Yes. They, they need to find this. They're the fact that Gambit plays so deep on some of these defensive rounds, it burns up so much of the clock with Envy actually again trying to be the ones to to find something before they make a decision. A little strange. And again, appreciate Defo making the effort, but after that, it was, it was almost just one by one. Envy of like, yep, we found the first blood, let's go. In this next round, hoping Gambit can at least resort back to where they're, where they're actually finding success, right? Forcing Envy to make these late late round hits. Burn up all this utility on the way in. One round separates them, Lauren. As soon as you think there's, I, you know, I thought uh, Envy maybe needed a timeout, but they, they came up with the answer pretty quickly of their own accord without needing it. And I mean, Shados really good. I think, I think Shados is thinking, oh yeah, he's going to bounce that into the corner, so I'm going to move it. No. No. That's the zero bounce. Back. 10. This best of five could be a long day. Get yourself situated for what could be an incredible matchup between these two. Only map one here. Haven on the chopping block next. No clear front runner now. Has Envy found what they needed? Create a little bit of an avenue. Create a little bit of opportunity. As Gambit for a while looked almost flawless. Crashies was, you know not quite on par with someone like Chronicle, who had been absolutely dominant, which is something I was very surprised to say, because Crashies has been absolutely god tier. Chronicle, what an upswing in performance from him. Three players this time on that Aileen. Nat's back in his little cubby. Again, in the back of that owl drone, to flash through just to check if anything's outside B. Trailblazer should confirm. Envy uh, intended on coming. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the goal right now. The amount of vision they have to work with, yay, that barrel's walking pretty that. big, fine. Oh my god, the timing is perfect. Okay, Defo's still here, but he's living Spike planted. on borrowed time in this position, because you can see that Envy have taken the space and they've taken the site. Spike is down and taking Crashies and Victor sitting towards Hooker. That's slowly clearing on the back lines, but it's going to be a clean fight. The timing's going to be everything. Maybe he can unlock it, but again, it's going to come down to the wire here. Let's see what Nats can do on this. The timing, Nats. He does not know what he's up against. Crash, he's just got red guard. This has to now speed up the hit from Nats. He's got to make his impression known. One, two, no way. the third doesn't need it. Shadows is right there. And now it all swings down to FNS in a 1v3. He's got the time on his side, but the shots ain't landing. You can see the Defo's just buying time. Nats is on the defuse. And somehow they work it out. 12 on the board for Gambit. Envy let that one slip through their fingers. Marv, again, he's so Nats in tune. Boy. Nats is unnoted to that point. Marv's like, yeah, I'm checking, I'm checking. Actually, we're getting contact on site now. That draws him closer, and Nats, perfect position to strike. The first, the transfer is actually beautiful onto Victor, but oh, shade off with the counter peak. He's sat in lamps that entire time, waiting for Nats to come through and find something. And it's hard to keep that faith, right? You're putting so much faith in Nats having that perfect timing on it, and you don't want to go early. You don't want to mess it up. Nats it's falls, that's done. It's done. 12 to 10. Map one, looking like it's sitting in Gambit's hands for now, but Envy kind of brought it back from crazier deficits, but they've got the answers now to what Gambit are bringing. Some of these rounds have been off the back of some brilliance, be it Nats, be it Chronicle, be it Shados, be whomever it may be, Defo. Throw them all in there, but Envy certainly have plenty of that themselves. Again, Flash will confirm at least a uh, a member of Envy on B long again. <laughs> this utility issue by Gambit on the defense is so beautiful. See, Flash on one side, Aldrone on the other. Hunter Fury actually going to get it invested here by Chronicle, but nothing found. But again, presence noted on both sides. So they know Envy is spread thin. And right now it's two players on B. So this is the correct read if they go for the shade off backside. Nats, I think, just on that cast, he is. That spike now noted. Rotation's gonna be coming in right now. The bailout trying to come through. Nats is just trying to stay alive. B more of a problem. B a nuisance. Jay still stands. But where is that spike going? Going back around towards long. They don't want to get past Nats, but Shados has fallen on the site. So there is some part of an avenue. TP taken for two, now three. Spikes on the way towards A. They can't hear it because of the cosmic divide. Look at this. Gambit are actually staying behind this on B. 
and Marv is selling this. He's selling it like a champ, but he could just punish any rotation. Yeah, and one might slip through the net, but Marv, oh, bullet to the back. But if anything, this is going to keep them here longer. Exactly. Now they know the plant comes through. Seeker's invested by Victor. Again, going to confirm exactly what they believe to be true. Everybody stacked up in towards spawn here. No flank coming through from Gambit. They have to fight through pipes. It is still a 4v3, so some favorable trades could really work out well for Gambit here, but timing and Ye, <gasps> that positioning, the timing on this one, he's trying to trade a path forward, Ye turns the attention, but now he's got heaven to worry about, but he's got Victor by his side, Victor's got death over, there's still three players, a 3v3 now, Redgar through the box, and now two, Victor's still alive, and so is Crashy, he's fighting with everything they have. The Chronicles on the spike, and I don't know if they can get there in time, he's sitting this one, it's down to, oh my god! He got it, he didn't get the defuse. Envy win the round, they go to 11. Oh my God. What was that round, Lauren? Envy, <laughs> again, they've been trying to push and pull on both sides here. That TP play behind the Cosmic Divide, I think it actually cuts in half for the teleport. So they cut into the close side so the Gambit have no idea, but somehow it comes this close. Look at that. He missed the first right click, but he got the second. Oh my god. Oh, Bucky for There's now. a sheriff. <laughs> There's another sheriff. Chronicle, the only one with a rifle. Full oh. utility, light armor. Defo does have his ult. At least I guess that's something. Shade off one god. away from here. <laughs> Thank god. He's I got mean, got without ult. that, yeah. But on the other side, a good purchase. Really nice. Yay, one off his as well. So, again, Marv can set something into motion as well. This is all coming on through. Defo, you've got to be an instigator here. Spots out yay early. Some are on the similar sort of look here. This is a 3-2 split towards A. This is kind of all in here, but there are three players for Gambit on this side too. Ye spotted again. They're keeping track of him, but he can't repeat this for a second. He knows there's a bit of a time limit on this, but Chronicle on the other side. Didn't give away that he has the rifle just yet. And Defo trying to play the timing to perfection. The rotates come in. You do at least have Shados now on the side as well, but no more flashes to use. I don't know when he's going to have that back. But they're holding for a second. Confirmation from Defo. They're still lingering around. They want to kill. They, they're, they're literally desperate for a kill, right now, but Defo finds it. You're not Back getting it on Defo right now. It's Red Goth on Crashies. Hold on, it's a 4v3. This buy was absolutely garbage Defo from Gambit. Trial. They're still making it work. And there are those Seekers coming down, at least from the attacking side. So Shado's now going to be noted. FNS wants to close that gap. No, he's slipping CT. But can the rest of Envy stay alive? That's a bigger thing. There's a TP. And now, look at FNS. He can lock these players in. They have no idea he's got around to this spot. This is going to be set up for success. Mm. FNS slicing through them. It could not have been better. Envy somehow turning this back around. FNS is positioning then. Just save them. Red Guard, 30 HP and a Sheriff. He'll be able to pick something up to try and make this work. He finds himself in a 1v3 prevent this going to overtime on map one <laughs> and it's gonna take him a long time to get over there Lauren uh, yeah I, I, I can't see Redgar even getting close to this you can see already FNS posted up in hookup that's the first one to find if he needs to still a tricky angle clear not gonna happen <laughs> FNS you're a hero you just got MV to 12-12 that push towards overtime. CT in that timing Allowing that TP to come in, catching the rotations. Oh, because you know the Gambit had to respond completely to this because they had nothing to work with. FNS, uh, uh, time and time again, at uh, this event especially, yep. he's demonstrated his ability to just have a, a, a completely different grasp on the round. And that position in there to thread the needle, get to pipes. You can see the ping coming through. I think Gambit initially, like, somebody may have walked Maybe pipes. Maybe there's, there's a chance. But there's, there's no clear. I think Defo tries to bait a little bit. Shadows is thinking, yeah, there's no way. I'm already very, very worried for Gambit. Full aboard, and I think you can see that's why timeouts being taken. Both teams are aware this is very much, uh, I say a linchpin, but it really can be for this to kind of you know slip into either side's sort of possession in this. This is really interesting though, because Gambit are going to start on the attack, and they're looking as if it's going to be a quick piece. Now this is the one round we've had to see Envy going to be a little proactive here, but only as two. So if Gambit can close the gap very quickly they might find themselves onto the b side uh -oh. victor 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 is in trouble does it get confirmed slightly not punished but we'll have to respect it and fall away crash he's going to try and fill that void for it. and you're right they're still kind of posturing up for this crashes could have slipped back towards ct or sat deeper but they have now three 
four on the site but Envy and Crash is just watching as one dash is on four but it's Deppo! How's he found that? Heffinus has fallen, yeah he's still there, that's his victim but only for so long! Gambit have just butchered Envy and Marv called upon in the final moments here of this first round of OT, not gonna happen, Shados! Sorry. How on earth did we just see that? Did Gambit just execute within the first 35 seconds of a round? I don't um, understand. Am I asleep? Was there, was, there, was there a scoreboard switch or something here? Uh, but again, the perfect thing to pull in overtime, right? Envy are anticipating that slow pace, that methodical, again, especially when you get shut down in the way you were in that last, well, the last two rounds of regulation, actually. Oh, even just Depo finding that pick the towards back site. Exactly, they were already there. They had four players on site, basically, at that point. Like. That's insanely impressive, but it ain't done yet. This isn't just like, oh, yeah. but it's done. No, 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 no. Envy's turn. Redgar opting for the judge. Okay. <laughs> Is this the world we're living in? <laughs> okay. Right. Fair enough. As Nats goes down, crashes with a pivotal first pick. Here. Huge, actually. Yay, pinging out the possibility somebody's walking this smoke, but FNS is drifting. Redgar's going to back away. Do not walk that. Do not walk that. Mm. Well, I think now we can say two uncharacteristic rounds from Gambit. Yeah, wait and see weird. what happens, but it's got a little weird, yeah. It's gotten weird. And Envy will love that. What a great start, too. That's what they look for the picks. entire time on they their attack. They never got given it. Yeah. Never got given that. They had to fight so hard for any of these sight hits, but now, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no, fight us whenever, dude. That's great. No, FNS though, pinged out, is going to be revealed and punished. Now, the Chronicle Steel here, he's here. been having a belting game. 30 here. seconds, a spike yet to fully commit to the site. They had to clear Chronicle and they do. Left. Yay, sharp. Shados, now considered as well, been revealed, hiding okay. away. Defo's on route, but it may be a little Fire late now, game. as it's going to be just down to Defo and Envy somehow find the perfect Fire beginning. Planted. Given effectively, well, there you go, yeah, you will find the last, but effectively given three opening duels, which you don't often find versus Gambit. Like I said, Envy were desperately looking for rounds oh, like that, that, where they were able to find these 1v1s. These early fights. Uh, they look for it for the entirety of the half. Uh, and this here from Red Guy, again, I, I, I'm okay with it. Again, it's overtime. Throw something weird in there, something that maybe, you know, your opponent's not going to anticipate. But, doesn't work out for them. Gambit back on the attack now. Again, everybody lent towards B. There's no Nats on A short. There's, there's nothing here to bait presence. But adjustment from Envy. And Gambit's pace is still catching my eye. Defo going to try and close in with that out. He's going to be forced away, but there is another player in here. So don't. Oh my god. Excuse me, Defo. He just dashes in. Victor, so sharp, though, finds a quick reply. And now a 1 for 1 trade out, but they know the intention. Victor now not necessarily panicked, but trying to pour that utility into buy Look time the for Crashies to get over here. But you're right, it's the backfill, and it's still a fight from that to Chronicle. They just made Envy look like putty in their hands as FNS are mobbed. Well, they were on the other side. And again, this pace change has been very uncharacteristic. It's got them a reward. <laughs> I know how scary it is when it's a gambit to go switch a gear, but Marv having to go through this now on 1v4. But if Gambit do the similar thing on the other side, there'll be opportunities that Envy will lap up as Chronicle. We get Gambit critical round here, but that fight in Hookah was ever, uh, excuse me, in towards, yeah, Hookah was, was absolutely everything. Max but the pinch point. is beautiful from Gambit yeah, as the well. Yeah, push up long, they were like in sight. Straight away, because I think actually they identify that, that it's only going to be one, unless, you know, for some crazy reason it's a pistol round setup again, there's four members of Envy on B site, but they know that they can play the numbers. And that's actually the perfect example of where to lean away from the default, right? It, and sure. how to actually make that very, very effective in the early round. If you can find that one person, you can run them down. But remember now, Envy just got everything they wanted out of Gambit in that early start. This was what they were dreaming of. And I worry for Gambit if they keep playing into this. Now that's a different stop though. Yay being picked up here by Defo is very, very different. But FNS did find a go to frag. It's on a red guard. And maybe he's reading this again. I'm curious if he is, but it doesn't look like they want to adhere to this story of heading towards A. They're considering an adjustment towards that B site. And now be Chronicle. The Owl drone. If you'll spot out Defo posted Thank up watching you. towards hookup. Angle, but 
Cross actually marved or get found. Okay, this is now where problems begin, but Crashies is still alive. Chronicle! Envy for so long! Chronicle's not letting anyone pass. He's still trying to fight fully blind. But now Envy have two, and they at least have the step towards the side. But look how quickly Gambit are on the case. One CT, two towards Hookah. And FLS is just dedicated towards that CT, finally loses. Victor now in a 1v3. This could be map one going towards Gambit. The flash confirms attendance. Victor, what can you do with this one? Tries to turn the flash. He's still just fine, but Shados, he's not giving him anything. You know that Envy want to clear CT, but he's just not going to let it happen. And Victor knows he's going to have to fight tooth and nail for a single pick in this Gambit turtle up. They let nothing. Still a strain, 20 seconds now, Victor. 34 HP, and it's done. Shados leans GG's. forward. Map one was an absolutely brutal battle between these two.